Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and it is time for a brand new project in SketchUp. So let's get cracking. Friends, there will be a link in the description if you're trying to find the app. When I sign in, I always choose sign in with Google, and then make sure you click this button to pick what we're going to build with. Today, we're going to build with decimal centimeters. Give that a second to open, and then delete this dude because we don't need him. Let's change the name of our project. Let's click on our SketchUp folder. And then I want you to type the name, and we're going to make a simple lamp. Hit save here. You'll note it says that it's saving, and at this point, we can start working. Friends, let's start here. This is a two-hand project. With your mouse hand, you're going to click and release. All the other programs you click and hold, we're going to click and release, and I'm going to tell you shortcuts with your left hand. So right now, I'm going to click up here so it knows I'm talking to it, and we're going to press the letter R for rectangle stretch a rectangle out but you can see i clicked and let go so now i can type numbers now don't worry about clicking where you type it just automatically works so right now i'm going to type 30 comma 30 and press enter notice it's pretty small we're going to zoom in with shift z just like that that means zoom to extents the next tool i want you to use is p for push pull click on this and make sure you let go and then i want you to type 5 and press enter that is going to be the base of our lamp we are going to use a really cool tool to make this look fancy. Press L for line and just draw a line on the corner. You get to pick how much it is. Now this tool is amazing, but it does not have a shortcut key as far as I know. We want to click and choose follow me. Make sure you put your mouse on the small area and then trace around the shape. You see this red line following? And when we come all the way back and click on the corner, it just beveled the base of our lamp instantly. How cool is that? Now I want to keep this separate from my other parts, so I'm going to press the space bar. I'm going to grab it all, and I'm going to right click on the shape, and I'm going to make it a group. So that way it's one piece. Now on the top of this, I want to put a cylinder, so I'm going to hit C for a circle. Alright friends, this is kind of cool and kind of tricky. We're moving along the edge of this shape, and you'll see it say midpoint. So that means I want one midpoint. So now I'm gonna go over to the other side and now I've got both midpoints and that takes me to the center. It's that easy. I'm gonna stretch it out. Once again, I let go and we're gonna type three for the radius and press enter. Now friends, I'm gonna hit space bar, P for push pull. I'm gonna start that up and I wanna make it 35 centimeters high. Let's do that shift Z to zoom out and you can see that is a decent size for our lamp. All right, friends, let's make a quick fake light bulb. We're going to press R for rectangle, and I want you to click on this corner and raise it up about the height you think a rectangle would be. This is not going to be perfect, but it's going to be kind of fun. We're going to click over here on the arc tool, and we want the second arc. We're going to click on this first spot, and we're going to click down here a little bit and then stretch it out along that shape. So there's the start of your light bulb. Now I need you to press L to switch to the line tool, and I want you to come straight down, and I want you to come in most of the way. Let's hit E for erase, and let's get rid of this piece right here by clicking out on the outside edge. Make sure you get rid of this bottom line as well, and then this is going to be our light bulb shape. Click on your select tool and double click. We're going to hit M for move, and we want to move it along the red axis so we've got room to play with it. Now, friends, we are going to use C for circle. Make sure we're looking down at it from a corner. So that was O for orbit, C for circle. And I want to come out to the very edge of the bottom. Now, friends, we're going to do follow me again. Remember, we had to click here, and it was the second choice. Click on this face. And if it doesn't air, just do Control Z. But you want to trace that little arrow. So notice I'm following it all the way around. And when I get to that edge, I'm clicking over orbit and you have just made your own silly light bulb. Might take you a few tries, get as close as you can. When you do have it done, hit space bar, grab it all and make it a group as well. This does a lot of things. It keeps it separate. It also makes it so that it's easier to grab and move. Let's go back to our center tube and we're going to click it three times. One, two, three. So that grabbed everything on that shape. Now we can right click the shape and we can group it as well. Let's move this to the top. We're going to do M for move. 
Now you want to grab it at a smart spot, which is down here at the end point, and we want to set it on the top of this shape. So notice I got it close, and then boom, it lets me move right to that spot. Now we want to get it centered or close to centered, so I'm just nudging it until I'm happy. And I think that's pretty darn awesome. If you wanted to be perfect, you could grab it from the center, but we don't need perfect for this. So now we've got a lamp, we've got a light bulb, all we need is a lampshade. We're going to make that lampshade with a circle. I'm going to hit spacebar to click down on the bottom, C for circle, and I'm going to go out to the red axis. And I'm going to tell you we want to type 25 for our radius and press enter. Now if you look at this, it has little lines on it. We're going to fix that by clicking the spacebar and clicking out on the outside edge. Then when we do the entity info, see how it says 24 segments? We're going to change that to 60 and press enter. That makes it much more smooth. We're going to use F for offset and then click and stretch this a long ways out. I'm not going to give you a perfect number, but you want it close because these are usually pretty thin. Spacebar, click the middle and delete it. We're going to do P for push-pull, and we're going to raise that up. And I'm going to tell you the number that we want is 35 and press enter. Here comes the cool thing, space bar. Let's do O for orbit, space bar, click that inside ring. We're going to do S for scale. This is so cool. If you tap control, it scales about the middle. And just like that, your lampshade slopes the way you want. If you make a mistake, if you forget control, don't forget you can just do undo. We're going to do spacebar and we're going to triple click. One, two, three. So you can see it grabs it all. We're going to make that a group. All right, friends, let's line this up. I'm going to show you a neat trick. We're going to click on this first one and we're going to get hide. What that does is it gives us the center of this circle, which is handy. I'll show you why. If we do M for move, if you go along the edge, it'll snap and give you the center. So see how it shows me that center? I can click the center, and then as I'm moving it, I can go to the edge of the first shape, and I can get to its center dot two by zooming in, and it'll say on face center. Then you've got it in place. Now we want to lift it up. So once again, I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to lift, but I'm going to lift it straight up. See that blue line? That proves it's straight and it's lined up perfectly. Find a height you think is good, hit O for orbit and double check it. You can see that is fantastic. So now I'm going to click over here on the glasses and I'm going to choose unhide all. And if we look inside, you can see our light bulb is still right where it's supposed to be. Friends, this is not really connected, but I'm going to call it good. I think those are a lot of skills. I'm going to remind you to click save. We're going to purge the components it doesn't need. And then we're going to switch over here to the colors. Now, if you don't have colors here, that's fine. Instead, we're going to click on browse and we're going to find the colors and you can pick whatever colors you like. So I'm going to go with a blue base. I'm going to go with a yellow center post. I'm going to go with a blue lampshade. And then inside for the light, I'm going to switch to a different property. So notice I'm collapsing that, switching to glass and mirrors, and I'm going to go with the lit yellow for my bulb. Now you notice all this blue is reflected and it looks yellow, but there, my friends, is my super fun lamp. Friends, just fun skills in here. I wanted you to learn how to use follow me, the advanced follow me of the light bulb, and then also just throw in colors on things. And remember to always hit save, use both hands and your shortcuts. Friends, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about SketchUp made simple. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.